Hello and welcome to Cube World. My name is Lumen, and right now, before we jump in to create a new character and get started on this grand adventure, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the game. I realize you all probably know all about Cube World already. You know that it's an alpha, you know that it's a voxel-based 3D RPG adventure game, and that it's all open-worlded and procedurally generated, and seeing that you know all of that, well, I just don't need to tell you. Let's get started. Let's create a new character. Ah. <sighs> The creator of the game, Wale, he said that his inspiration with this... Ooh, is that Cloud? <laughs> they give you Cloud. Straight off the bat. The hair is not spiky enough. The hair is not... I'm getting distracted. Wait. He said his inspirations for the game were things like Minecraft and Zelda and Secret of Mana, Monster Hunter, Diablo, World of Warcraft and many others. Those are all amazing games. Absolutely amazing. Some of those are some of my favorite games of all time. So I'm kind of excited to get started here. Now, let's get back to the character creation. <laughs> now, let's have a look at the races before we actually start customizing human. Elf. They got the exact same body, but I suppose... You can't really change the bodies of these little characters too much. They are so handsome. A dwarf. Sweet Juniper Lee. What did they do to this poor thing's nose? <laughs> I'm guessing he really doesn't like dwarves. And those ears? Oh. A funny little guy, isn't he? An orc. Look at that magnificent jaw. And those fangs? Oh, glorious. Wait, let's change the hair color so we can actually see it. He's got a little goatee over there. It's very nice. Goblin. That's pretty much a green dwarf. I suppose the ears are a little bit different, but it's also got the shiny red nose. Oh, a lizard. Oh, look at the, look at the mouth. Oh. We're going to have to look at both the male and female variations as well. Undead. That's kind of scary looking, actually. Very sinister. Don't know if I'd go with that. Frogman? Oh, I can make a Chrono Trigger Frog Knight. I just might do that. And we back at human. Okay. So we're going to go through every single race's customization options, both male and female, just to see... What the game has to offer. Look at the hairstyle. Not bad. I'm impressed that they managed to get so much detail in using so few cubes, I suppose I could say. There's a lot of character in these characters. And that's impressive. So let's start on human male. Let's have a look. Ooh, the class. Huh. Warrior, ranger, mage, rogue. And that's it. I know there are subclasses as well. I'm not sure what they all are. I think warriors can be berserkers or guardians. Ranger can be sniper and scout. Mage can be fire mage and water mage. And rogue can be assassin and ninja. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I remembered them all. I was browsing the site just before jumping in here and I was getting way too keen. All sorts of hyped up face. Oh. Oh, good. You can sort of change your skin color. Huh. So that's sort of like a tanned skin color. I don't even know. I mean, you don't have a whole lot of choices where that's concerned. It's changing the eye color as well. But this is sort of like a ready brown. I wonder if they'd ever add more that would be kind of cool if they would eventually just broaden their skin color horizons. Fine. You know what? You can make an incredibly white character or a dude that's gotten a bit of sun. And the rest is just eye colors. Okay, and then haircuts. So have a look at these. You can obviously change the color. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can get all sorts of crazy with the color. Wow. Huh. That's really exciting. You can go really loud with something like pink or red or blue. 
or you can go standard with like gray or black. There doesn't really seem to be a brown. Is that brown? That's like a reddish brown, isn't it? I think so. I think so. We're going to leave it on black for now so we can see the hairstyles properly. Change it to... That's fine. It's not too obtrusive. It's not getting in the way. Let's have a look. What? Is that a receding hairline? That's like Loki from Avengers, from Thor. <laughs> I don't want that. No. Oh! Obviously. Obviously they got this hairdo. Ooh. Is that an Elvis cut? <gasps> That's it. That is gonna have to be the one I go with. Look! <laughs> That's perfect! The messy bedhead. I like it. Oh. Look at those brows. Those are some serious eyebrows. Huh. And the handlebar mustache. I like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait. Maybe that is the real mustache. And this here? Is that his hair hanging in his face? Or are those like eyebrows gone wild? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, that must have been his hair. I see now. Ooh, look at the beard. Gosh, not half bad. A uh, little goatee, I'm going to steer clear of that. Ah, that could potentially be stubble. And I see he's got a little cow lick going there. Kind of like that as well. And this, I call the Sam Winchester. That's exactly what this is. <laughs> if you look at it from the front, that's what you see. Sam Winchester. That's the Zach Galifianakis. Wait, there you go. <laughs> I like it. Man, okay, we back. Oh, no, we're not back at the start. What is, what is this? Oh, I see. That's a really standard one. Okay, not bad. I think I know what I'm going to make already. If I make a human male. But let's have a look at the females. Because they're probably going to have all sorts of interesting stuff going on here. Set it back to black. Oh, the face is first. I wonder if you're going to be able to get makeup. Whoa, 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 what's going on with the eyes? Oh. It just looks a little strange because of... Is it that block that makes it look strange? Maybe if you zoom out it looks better. Those eyes are a little bit weird. They look fine there, but they just look... Strange. Maybe I shouldn't pay too close attention to them. Fine. But it works the same way, you can go with normal skin color or tanned. Same eye colors as well. Strange choices in eye colors. Is that blue, green, and red? Or is that brown? I... <sighs> I can't see the difference. I apologize. <laughs> I really can't. Okay, haircuts. Whoa! Hey, hey! Wind swept babe hairstyle. You can look like you're permanently in like a photo shoot or something with that hairstyle. That's a very plain one. Girl next door style. And that's even more conservative. Exact same style, just more conservative. What's going on at the back? Oh, there's a ponytail on that one. Okay. I see. There's the middle path. There's the fringe. Are those bangs? No, they're not bangs. They need to go further down to be considered bangs. That... That right there is the first hairstyle again. What? There are only seven for the females. You can see a man made these models. He knows what the man hairstyles look like. He knows how to make the Zach Galifianakis and the Sam Winchester. But he has no clue about the female styles. Fine, let's move on to Alf. I'm going to assume that most of the hairstyles are going to be the same here. But I do see that the ears are at least a bit different. Ooh, and the face. Hold on. I don't think there's going to be a tanned elf. The eyes are a bit different. You see there's white on both sides here. The colors, a bit different too. Huh. Okay. It's nice. And then the hairstyles. Let us have a look. That's much the same. Much the same. 
Is the emo cut here? Huh. That's interesting. I call this one the castle cut. <laughs> I suppose you could call it the fortress as well. Because that's what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like on top of this character's head. Like a little castle. Wow. Whole bunch of meticulous planning that went into that hairstyle. And this is like the little curl at the front. Oh, sick burns, man. Why do the elves get sideburns? That seems a little unfair. Oh, is that the bed head again? Huh. I don't know if I prefer this one or the human one. I just don't know. That's just plain messy. It's okay. Oh, okay. There it is. There it is. I was waiting for it. And we're back at one. Uh, hey, wait. The outfit looks completely different. I suppose it is just the color, but it does look different. Okay, the faces are exactly the same, I guess. No, wait. The skin color does change here. Huh? Why do the females get different skin colors? You can get a slightly tanned elf. With funny eyes. Okay. The, the eyes are obviously just funny because she's tanned. I guess that's the thing. Hey. That is like a typical elf hairstyle with the little wavy bits on the sides. Whoa. Okay. Those are... Oh! Hey! Pigtails! Huh. I see now. Some more pigtails. That's the conservative one. That's the normal one. I get it. Aha! Little buns. It's the Star Wars girl. There's one bun. A singular bun at the back. Oh! Chun-Li buns. Okay. And that's just plain long hair. There's a nice ponytail. I gotta say that thus far at least, I like the female elf and the male human the most. They've got the most variety when it comes to the hairstyles. Huh. Okay. We're not gonna look at the colors for each and every single one. I think you get a good enough idea with black. Maybe I should take gray and you can actually see the definition a little better. Dwarf. <laughs> look at this little lady. Wow. That nose. That nose is a bit much. You know, if they ever release the statistics about which races are played and which aren't, I can tell you right now that dwarves are going to be all the way at the bottom. Because they got to do something about that nose. <sighs> okay. Oh! I see. That's better. That's already, like, a whole lot better. You just take this small nose. Let's just... Stick with a small nose for now and see what the hairstyles look like. Okay. That's pretty standard dwarf fare right there. Got the short front and the long back. And the short front and the short back. I can't make up names for dwarven hairstyles. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Those are like the plaits at the front there. They're kind of okay. Not that many hairstyles once again for the dwarves. Let's check the males out. Ha! Ah, we can go with the glorious bald head. Can we change that nose? Whoa. You can get a magnificent unibrow. Oh, yes. I like it. We're going to stick with that for now. And <laughs> we can look at the hairstyles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You joking. There are only three hairstyles. I suppose that's all the hairstyle you need for a dwarf. And if someone was going to make a dwarf, then I guess they wouldn't really care about hairstyles and style in general too much. I don't know. No offense to you dwarf players out there. But I see you guys as easy going when it comes to fashion. Next. The orcs. Wow. I'm a big fan of the chin. Of this right here, the chin and the jawline, it is mighty. Oh, wow. 
Look at that. Too cute. Now. Look at the faces quickly. Oh, look at those little eyes. That one actually has different ears. Huh. Okay. I kind of like this one the most. Let's have a look at the haircuts. Ah. Uh, Ha! The orcs have access to the fortress. Or the castle cut. Whatever you want to call it. Ha! Okay, a beard. Not bad. And that? I see. It's the little orcish ponytail. Sick burns. Much better than the elvish ones. Ha! Okay. And that's clean cut. Clean shaven orc. Wait. What? Is that like a placeholder or something? Am I missing? The hair on this hairstyle? No. No, these are placeholders. Oh! And we're back at the start. Okay. Female time. Face. They actually really cute. They look good. He did good with the female orc faces. I like them. Haircuts. Ah, oh, look at that. A little curl at the front. Ooh, a top knot. Why don't the other races have this? I suppose that right there is your reason to make a female orc the top knot. Oh, that's glorious. I like it. <gasps> Cornrows. <laughs> Ooh. I'm so tempted to make a female orc right now. What is this? Shaved on one side. Is that a Skrillex cut? <laughs> that's, that's the default one, isn't it? Huh. Okay. Good. Goblins. Oh, they are all sorts of cute as well. Look at them. Their little faces. Look at the teeth. I like that. Got us some Spongebob teeth up in here. Let's stick with this one. Stick in with this one. Changing the haircut. Hmm. Those are not sideburns. That's the hair hanging in front of her ears. Don't even worry. Okay. Got the pigtails. This is also quite interesting. That's like a mini hawk with a ponytail at the back. Or it's the Jack from Mass Effect haircut where it's like flat over the top because it doesn't really look like a mohawk I'm not even sure what that is I like it though it's kind of cool funny that there aren't any mohawks Chun-Li back again and that's it well they haven't been mohawks yet maybe the male goblins have them check the faces out oh, oh look at the single tooth Oh, that guy, he's been in a couple of fights, hasn't he? Ooh. Bugs Bunny teeth are back. It's not bad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's more like a orcish goblin face. Kind of like it. Let's keep going. Haircuts. What? Now that is a mini hawk. Kind of cool. There's that side style again. <gasps> a double hawk. What? Has this even been invented yet? They are breaking all sorts of new ground here. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Huh. That is like the old goblin professor style. You gotta make this one grey. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that. Ha ha ha. This guy knows all sorts of things. You come to him when you seek knowledge. That's what that hairstyle says. Has that written all over it. You need to take the old face. There, without teeth. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, what else is there? <gasps> There's another one. Bald on top, hair at the back. Okay. And we're back at the beginning. Next. The lizards. What? Ooh. That's a proper mohawk. But these are scales. Right? Those right there would be the lizard scales. Not their hair. Because I don't see lizards having no hair. Okay, let's choose a color. Make it red. There. Oh, that looks quite good. Try the faces out first. 
You can change the teeth. You can go from the incredibly toothy fellow to this dude that has his mouth closed. It's only those two. Huh. I mean, I like it. It's good that they give you the choice. The double hawk again. But this is a different variation. He's got the gangster stripes mixed into the double hawk. Huh. Not half bad. Oh, we got a patchy style here. <laughs> I suppose these are scales because you're not going to see no lizard with patchy hair on his head. That's a proper double hawk again. I don't know if double hawk's even a thing, but you know what? It is now. <gasps> that I will call the rooster. I love it. I love it. I wish he would let me give all these styles names. This one's the rooster. Wow. Okay. And we're back at the beginning. I'm having so much fun with this. Oh, look at the cute face. Hey, five different faces. Okay. This one's even got some makeup of some sort on. Oh, I like it. Huh. Okay. Let's take that one. I like the toothy ladies. Let's stick with that. It's a proper scale mohawk. White looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I'd go with white scales if I was making a lizard. It would be kind of cool if they one day give you the ability to change your skin color. And I hope that you can visit like a barber shop in game, sort of like you do in World of Warcraft, to change all of this. Time for undead. I was so keen to see what the undead was going to be all about. Look at the female undead. That is still all sorts of scary. Seriously. Let's try male first. Look at the hair at the back. <laughs> Obviously there's not going to be a lot of it. Let's try the faces. That just changes the eyes. Hmm. You can have the sinister ones or the wide open ones. I'd go for the wide open ones because I don't want no scary character. Let's, let's take that for now. Haircut. Hey, hey. That's also like a little mini hawk. It's a very skinny mini hawk. But it's kind of cool. Oh, uh, obviously that one's there. That's the crazy, standard crazy undead do. I think World of Warcraft has the exact same one. I think. Let's keep going. Oh, you joking. They could have been so creative. What is this? Is this what happens when an undead tries to cover up his bald spots? He like combs it over to one side <laughs> to cover that shiny part of his head, of his skull. Sorry, sorry, I'm probably being insensitive. Hey, it's kind of interesting as well. Okay, fine. Let's check the females out. What do you have in terms of faces? Oh, angry and sinister. Indifferent. Angry and sinister. Indifferent. Kind of sad, actually. Indifferent dash sad. We'll go with that. Haircuts. Oh, look at this one. Hey. This I'll call the flat top. Mainly because it looks like her hair is like really dirty and sticking to her skull. Well, what's left of her hair. That once again is the Skrillex cut. Hmm. That is an impressive amount of hair for an undead. If you look at it from the back, you wouldn't even know. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> That's amazing! That's actually really cute! Oh, she's hiding. She's like a little bit ashamed of being a dirty undead. So she's hiding behind her bangs. Wow. That's deep. It really is. And this? I don't even know what to call this. The stripe. <laughs> and we're back where we started. My goodness. Oh, what? I completely forgot about the frogmen. I was just 
winding this thing down, thinking to myself, man, Lumen, we had a good run, but we've seen them all. And lo and behold, we still have the frogs. Do frogs even have teeth? What is that? What is that over there? Ooh. Okay. That's the little under chin thing. I don't know what you call that part of the frog. I mean, I suppose you could call it their neck. But it's more than a neck, isn't it? I think so. This one's got some lipstick on. And we're back at the beginning. Okay, haircuts. Oh, I see. These are actually just different eye styles. Because you're not going to see no hair on no frog. Huh. Okay. And you can change the color of what exactly? A oh, shame. The frogs have no use for colors. That's a pity, isn't it? Well, I think so. Fine. You know what? Fine. Let's have a look at the males over here. See what their face is all about. Exactly the same. Whoa, 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 whoa. That dude is hungry for flies and bugs and beetles and all sorts of other stuff. Oh, wow. And we're back at the start. Okay. You know, there isn't much variation when it comes to frogs, but come on. Honestly, you don't need much variation. You're playing a frog, for goodness sake. <laughs> isn't that enough? Oh, now we're done. Now we're actually done and we're back to the humans. That's crazy. So, I think I might make myself a human male with... Mm, you know, as much as I want to go for the tanned look, I'm thinking I'm gonna go for the pale skin. And which eyes? I don't know. I don't know. But that is sadly gonna be it for this character creation episode. I'm sorry if I didn't make it clear at the start that I was going to put character creation separately from the rest of the game, but I wanted to have an extensive look at the character creation so that I could just cover everything and anyone interested could see what this game's character creator has going for it. So check back here soon for more for the creation of my character and for the beginning of our adventure, because I can't wait. I'm going to tell you exactly what my character is going to look like, but it's not going to look like this. <laughs> and who knows, maybe I come back and I've got a... A frog craving. Maybe I want to make a frog, or like a lizard man, or woman. I don't even know. But check very soon for that. Most importantly though, happy finally getting to play Cube World. Happy that.